everybody, and welcome to episode 45 of Coffee and Crafting. I am so excited to have you here, and I'm so excited for today because it is officially the rebrand and relaunch of CountryPeony.com, and I wanted to bring on my friend Aisha, who was the creative genius behind today's website launch. So let me um, invite her on here, if I can figure this out, so one moment. Okay, hi everybody, it's so good to see all of y'all. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Aisha, thank you so much for coming on today. Oh my goodness. Hi. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Congratulations on everything launching today. Well, thank you. And honestly, it's it's really all, all because of you. Honestly, I had mentioned earlier that I was kind of dragging my feet on this and I just needed to find the right person and I did, so I'm so, so excited. Um, so I'm coming from Texas, but you're, you're not in Texas. Nope. You are coming all the, and you're coming from cold Canada, I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's cold there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's super gloomy and kind of cold today. I needed to like, I saw your stories this morning and I was like, I need some color in my life today, which is, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Well, awesome. Well, I'll just get started. So there were a couple of questions that came through when I was kind of talking about today's yeah. live. Um, but I did want to mention that um, I met Aisha at the Alt Summit um, back in March. It was so funny. We were lining up. I don't know if you remember this, but we were lining up to go to a, um, I forget what speaker we were going to see, but um, I kind of ran into you and we started talking and you said that you do website design and I'm thinking, this is great. And it was so perfect because you had such a beautiful energy and I, I knew that we would be such a perfect fit. Um, and so that's how we met. And then we started this process back in May. We had kind of our brainstorming session. So I don't know if you want to go from yeah. there, uh, kind of your side of it, and then we can keep keep going. Yeah, I remember I remember us meeting an old, an actually funny story. I think I told you this. I actually remember seeing you by the pool and I was like, who is that? Because <laughs> your your energy is so bright and glowy and like I mean all this there's all sorts of so much color at all, but it's just always nice to see someone like in in their zone. Um yeah, and I remember I remember meeting you the first time. I actually really loved our discovery call because I remember you hopped on a call and we were like, oh, I just want to talk about a little bit of a logo refresh. And as our conversation, like as the conversation went, it was very clear that there was so much happening under the surface for Country Peony. Like it wasn't, you were looking to refresh your logo just because you'd kind of outgrown a few things in the business. And as we started like talking a little bit more, I remember you being like, oh yeah, I actually need more than a logo. And it was so lovely because I think we met at a time when there was a transition happening. You had started as I remember our conversation and you kind of saying that it's more than it's more than just blogging now, you know, um, and the fact that you had the studio and that we really wanted to bring that physical space to everybody that came sort of in, in contact with your brand. Um, I love I love that. I really, really love that discovery call. And I really love the fact that you had the time over the summer to be in some really beautiful places and really had the time to sink into what you were envisioning and let that sort of build out a little bit before we kicked off our branding then at the end of summer. Yeah. No, and, and I'm so thank you for that. Thankful for that because I can tend to be a really spontaneous person. I get excited and I want to do it. But like, I think you saw, like I mentioned earlier, you saw my heart and you knew that there was a little bit more there that I could dig into. So I spent the summer kind of um, dreaming about it. And I do recommend that to anybody, really sleep on it um, for anything that you're doing, creative or otherwise. I think it's really important to kind of see. Um, and so I'm just so excited. Uh, we, you're getting a lot of love here, Aisha. So I think that's <laughs> fabulous. Everyone say how amazing you are. And I totally agree. And I'm just truly, I'm so grateful. So. Um, okay, so one of the first questions, are you ready to get into the questions? I'm good. Okay, let's okay, go. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we decided that, um, okay, 
We can kind of talk about the mission statement. So you had mentioned that, you know, you thought it would be more than just a, a logo refresh. And if any of y'all haven't seen the website yet, I highly recommend checking it out and letting me know, letting me know what you think because she just nailed it. Um, but I'm just going to say some of the words that came to mind when you had given them back to me. But we wanted and the logo and the look to feel lively, warm, whimsical, charming, creative, and eclectic. And that, like, that, that's it. It's amazing. Yeah. And, um, and then we came up with, you helped me with a new mission statement. Um, I kind of wanted to dig into that and see uh, the process behind that and kind of um, working with clients and so forth. And even the specific case, if you want to dig into that, you know, how you come up with that as, as almost an outsider of the business, which I think was really beautiful that you saw all that. Yeah, I love the strategy portion of it. Design is where my heart is, of course, always. Um, but over the past few years, I've realized that a lot of creatives are scared of the word strategy because it feels like intimidating. It feels like, oh my God, I, I need to have all of these answers to questions that I don't even maybe know yet. Like, And that's the interesting part to me because as you know, like during our brand strategy session, we, it, it's, it's, so much of like digging under the surface and figuring things out together you never really expect there's no right answer because every business is different but i love that when when i was sort of thinking about crafting what the mission statement was i really wanted to bring all the beauty of what you'd already created so what you why you do what you do why your heart is in it and what you're hoping to bring to the world so everything that you've already created and everything that you want country PNA to grow into, right? So it's so interesting because mission statements sometimes are just crafted for like leaving everything you've done behind and like it, it's just crafted to this like grandiose thing that's going to be something in the future. But I really wanted it to, to take into heart everything that you've already built um, while you're transitioning into something that it's going to be more than just creating tutorials, right? And so what was, yeah, wh why do you do what you do? Like, why do you wake up in the morning? Why do you, what do you want to bring to the world? And businesses that bring more joy and play to the world, I think are so needed today. Um, yeah, and, and then just looking at your work, it became, I think as we went through our, our brand strategy session, it just became instantly clear like why you were here. And I love that your mission statement will allow you to still continue to explore more avenues, right? Under the same banner. I always talk about this when it comes to brand strategies. A lot of creatives, me included, are afraid that when we have to stick to one certain idea, it's gonna box us in. Mm -hmm. But I think if you do branding really well, what you actually have is a common thread that ties everything that you do together. So it doesn't box you in. You can go out, go explore, go try new things, but it won't feel overwhelming because you always have this common thread that ties everything back together. I love that. And and I and that's what I'm so excited about because you know, you can be really close to your business and not see almost the future and, and being expansive minded, I guess. And that's where you come in and you were amazing with. Um where it was um, it was really hard for me to kind of step into that yep. um, because like I said, it's so close to you and I've been doing this for over 10 years and it's like my little baby, but like the baby is growing and um, and I need to grow with it. And so you're really helpful with that. And, and you came up with Craft a Joyful Life, which I love. And I feel like you said, I can bring that into other parts of other than just crafting, yeah. even though that, that's where a lot of my focus is. Um, so thank you for that. And and I think thinking ahead, um, I kind of mentioned like five years ahead is kind of what I'm thinking, you know, kind of the lifespan of this. But the way that you've not only the website, but this brand, I think there can be a lot of growth there where I can do several different avenues. So I think that was really helpful. And I'm really grateful that that you gave me the space to do that. Um, and even on the website, like um, I can edit the website myself, which is so exciting. I mean, not just the blog post, but like, that's huge. Um, being, I, I do have someone who helps me with my Pinterest, but other than that, I do it all myself. Yeah. And it's so helpful to be able to do it by myself. So thank you for that. Um, uh, okay, so now we can, okay, the next question, which I got a lot of questions about the color palette because color is very important to me. And so I'm curious um, how, 
So it was so funny because I told you I had some ideas about color and you're like, well, let, let me see what I can do. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> honestly, Elizabeth, she's the professional. Let her see what she can do. And man, you nailed it. Um, and so I'd love to hear, um, being that color is so important to me in my designs and everything, how did you come up with the color palette? Because I think people who are even meeting a, with, with the designer or starting their own business, I think that color is very important. So I'd love to hear your take on yeah. that. Yeah. Um, I, it's weird, I'm going to say this out loud and I know it sounds weird, but my brain works in color. Like I, a lot of the times when we're in the middle of a strategy session, I will just into intuitively feel sort of what the palette might be and I'll always make note of that as soon as we hop off our strategy call and then I dive into more of the research um my design style is very like I trust my intuition and my creativity when when it comes to me like that and then I use research to make sure that everything aligns so that it can actually work for you in the long term um your brand to start off with like even in what you're wearing now like you are all color all the time and I am also a like color on color on color person and so this was very exciting because I knew you weren't scared of color <laughs> so I was like yes this is awesome but um when it comes to picking a color palette again you have a lot of color in the work that you do um it's very bold it's very joyful and so I wanted to make sure that I picked a color palette that would work really well as a base for other colors as well. So we didn't want something that was kind of bland and washed out. I didn't want something that was too clashy because then when you layer imagery of your work on top of it, it's kind of like, it can feel a little bit overwhelming and cluttered. So I wanted a color palette that felt feminine and a little bit whimsical, um, very inspired by the physical studio space since that was what we were trying to bring in. Um, and sort of bring that experience to everybody that that experienced country peony online as well um, and then just making sure that we had a really good base of neutral colors a really a few options to offer like a pop and bold um bold tones when you needed it and a color palette that acted as a great base for your work and for the rest of the branding that you created so no matter what brands you work with no matter what tutorials you create you don't have to skimp on the fact that you don't have to skimp on the fact that you get to add all of the color that you want and the color palette that you have really supports all of that looking great I, yeah. yeah i love that um i'm going to answer a question real quick elise my tops from shop ssys ssys um that's where i get most of my clothes from but i think it's sold out but you might find something you like every it. um okay single time i feel like every single time we hopped on a call together <laughs> i was like elizabeth where is your dress from elizabeth where is your top from i love clothes i think it's a problem but um anyway you're you're sweet so when you said that um you see things in color like that's what i knew this is right <laughs> uh and I think I think you did you did such a good job when you sent over the branding kit with all of my colors and showcasing where um, where and how I can use them because I think it's really hard. I I'm not a graphic designer. I do what I can in Canva. Honestly, that's the extent of it. But I do I do love playing with colors. But sometimes, as someone who is not an expert in that area, it can be really hard. So I really appreciate you, like you know. Yep. Um, giving me all these options and giving me the options, like you said, when I can work with brands and stuff like that. So that's awesome. Okay. Uh, great. Uh, okay. The logo. Let's talk about the logo. Okay. So this wasn't part of our original plan, but you went with it and it was amazing. And um, I'm an emotional person anyway, but I'm not going to lie. I was sitting here right here in the studio uh, when I was looking through everything. And, um, and when I saw the logo, I started crying because when I saw the the floral arrangement made out of craft supplies, I'm like, that's genius. So I'd love to know how you came out with that and everything else. Yeah, um, I remember you saying the logo is okay. Like I'm, I'm good with the logo and it wasn't like one of those things that you were like, oh my God, get this away from me immediately. You didn't no. hate it, it was fine. But I think as we went through our brand strategy session and as we moved into the design phase and as I started designing, I was just like, oh, this doesn't fit anymore. Like, it just doesn't fit who you're becoming. Um, 
which is not to say it's a bad thing it just means that it served it served you for as long as it did and it it wasn't visually conveying exactly who your brand was so with my with the logo my thought process was with a name like country pne it could be any business yeah right it it doesn't have in the name what it is and i didn't want you to be mistaken for a floral business right because sometimes that's the instinct um and like i said so much of our focus was like we have this beautiful studio space how do we bring it into our brand and really embody that and so if you look at the little bouquet all of those elements are elements that are actually in your studio so i actually we were lucky that we had your brand image gallery ready to go and so i went through all of the photos i picked out elements that would really fit your brand and that really represented what you were becoming um and then hand drew those elements and i was like okay what do we want to do with it now and a bouquet was just like the obvious option once you saw them all i was like of course it has to be a bouquet so there is a peony in there it's just everything else is craft supplies and um yeah it was also i remember there was there's an image on your desk of whatever like your pencil stand or something at your desk and all of the craft supplies are in there and my brain was like oh that that looks like a little bouquet and so <laughs> yeah that's where that came from um but it was just it was just one of those things i think for me like i said a lot of my design process is intuitive and i like to have that open space to feel inspired um i was just really lucky that you have a beautiful beautiful studio space that i got to yeah it was easy cuz once you have that then pulling the elements together felt easy well, yeah you nailed it like i said i yeah it's amazing um and it and it was so i mean so detailed but so personalized which i love like you said you pulled all those from Anyway, amazing. Okay, um, okay. Uh, this is a personal question. Um, so the website, uh, you you know, you worked with it uh, very closely. I'd love to know what is your favorite, or like, what parts of the website are you excited about? Um, we're excited to bring together, um, and yeah. then I can kind of go on mine, and then uh, anyway, then I have one more question for you. Yeah, I love um, one on the homepage, the very last section with the illustrations, where it's like choose where you'd love to go um i love illustrations and i love that they're so representative of the studio so that is one of my favorite sections um i also really really like um the section with your featured blog posts the seasonal blog posts so uh, we wanted to have a section that would showcase either your past tutorials or any new content that you created um and so the section that has like one side scrolling and one side fixed and then of course the section with the tile on the background is my favorite um i the as soon as i saw the bathroom picture that you said i like i was like this is my <laughs> i asked my husband how hard it would be to do in our bathroom and he said unless you're doing it it's not happening so Come on. I, like, I will stick to design um yeah. but yeah i think like i don't know i really I really love that. Though I feel like those are things that really help you feel like you are in the studio, even if you've actually never been to the physical space. Um, and yeah, layering those over like all of our strategic sections, the way we've laid out the website, was it's one of my favorite things. Yeah. I I, I have to mirror all of that, especially the tile. When I saw that, I was like, oh my goodness, because that tile was such a labor of love. My brother did it, I designed it. And honestly, I researched how companies probably for about a year and I'm like, I can't afford this. And so we DIY'd it and so it's just extra special. Um, yeah. And it's so cool how, you know, tile looks, anyway, the way you have it, y'all have to check it out. It's amazing. Um, and then I also like how, it feels, it's just so fluid. You, you go into the website and you're just like, you just keep moving, you know? And it, I, and that's really what I want out of this is until I can invite people into the space, um, the studio, I would love people to really just get a cup of coffee and sit down and just stay a while, you know, um, and just kind of browse and look at things. So I think you did such a good job of that and making, um, 
you know, kind of a treasure hunt, like, oh, click here and see this, click here and see this. So it's, it's been really, really fun. Um, so, and okay, my last question is, what is your favorite thing about working with clients? Oh my God. I know I threw this one on you. <laughs> um, or, or the whole process. What, yeah. what, this whole process of making these, elevating these brands and things like that. What, what? I mean, I think for me, it's that I get to do it. First of all, it's such a personalized process working one-on-one -on -one with clients. Um, and I always, like I reminded you as well, right? Like when you're rebranding, it is a little bit emotional. Um, there is a, there is sometimes that little bit of fear and apprehension because it's like you're standing at the edge of something where you're like, okay, I've come this far. And then you're looking out at like, okay, but this is what I'm dreaming of yeah. going forward. And so it can be a very emotional process. And I'm just always so grateful that like people let me in into that part. Like it's it's a very vulnerable thing to be able to help people figure out and help them vision cast and just yeah it's it's i'm gonna cry but like it's one of my favorite things and, and also that i get to as a brand designer and as a website designer like i get to see people in their full potential um there's there's something about just being in the presence of someone that is doing what they love and really enjoys what they do and is freaking good at it and i get to do that with every single client that i work on my brand and website design projects with and it is such a gift and then being able to take that and bring in sort of my perspective and my use my skills to help them grow that is just like i don't ever take that for granted it is every project is different and every project is for me kind of emotional because even though sometimes I bring in a team of like, again, other supportive entrepreneurs that need to help with certain things, I'm not a big agency. It's, it's always me. Like it's me on the calls, it's me in the marketing, it's me. So to be able to do that and like handhold women that are doing such amazing things in the world and bringing so much like joy and play and creativity, it's such a gift. Like I stum I feel like I stumbled onto this, but it's what I was meant to do so i'm just always really excited and always really really grateful and i'm actually going to turn that question around on you and ask you like what was what was unexpected in the process for you because i know you came in just being like i just need a little bit of a refresh but yeah i'd love to hear like what was unexpected in the process or what was your favorite part of the process as well yeah um I think, because uh, I had been dragging my feet for so long, and it was so refreshing and so beautiful during our discovery call. Like I said, um, um, I, I felt like you saw my heart in that first um, call, and it was just so beautiful um, because you saw how important this business is to me and how important it is to bring, you know, uh, creativity into people or just to inspire regardless yeah. with color or whatever you're doing. And also, okay. So um, I was playing it small and you, you were like pulling it out of me. And I'm just so grateful for that. And I thought, yeah, I had to give myself a pep talk. I'm like, yes, Elizabeth, you can do this. And so it's so funny because every day I tell people, you can do this, you can do this. But like, we don't tell ourselves that, yeah. you know, and you were so good at it without being like forceful or you know what I mean? um, your energy was just throughout was so beautiful. And yeah, then, then what surprised me is how emotional I got with um, thinking about the future and just how grateful I am to even be in the spot, to have this opportunity to work with someone like you who is so talented and who saw me. Um, and that's why I really wanted to bring you on today because I wanted everyone to see how, how beautiful you are and, and your incredible work um, because I think it's really important to work with people who, who you feel you know, that see you and, um, and I'm just so grateful that, that this worked out. And, um, and honestly, I'm just really excited for everybody to see this. Um, and yeah, so, uh, thank you. And thank, thanks for getting on this live with me. Oh. No, <laughs> um, thank you for, thank you for yesterday when you were like, are you ready? I was like, I'm ready. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, so yeah. I'm just, yeah, your energy is so great. And I, I'm a little sad that we had to wrap up <laughs> i know i know and it's like i totally agree uh 
I know it is really sad, but that doesn't mean I'm not still going to bother you. So. I'm, yeah, I'm, <laughs> so. yeah, you know where to find me. Yeah, um, thank you. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me and thank you for being open to sharing the behind the scenes. And like, like you said, it was a vulnerable process for you as well. Um, yeah, it was, it was easy for me. All I had to do was just hold a mirror up to you and be like, can you see <laughs> Elizabeth? This is you. So yeah, I, I, and again, at all as well, there's so many creatives and so many women doing such amazing things. Like sometimes you, you know what's inside. You just need a, a teeny bit of like a nudge. Um, yeah. And, and I can't, I can't wait to see everything that lies ahead. I'm so, Aww. so, so excited for you. Thank you. And the same to you. So thank you so much. And, um, yeah, thank you everybody for following today. Uh, you know, follow Aisha. She's incredible. Um, she does amazing work. And please check out my website, countrypeony.com. I would love to have you there. Um, thank you so much. And I think that's all we've got for today. So thanks again for joining me. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you.